When I was a, uh, a child, I, I was fascinated with American history. I remember being struck by the fact that Nathan Hale, this nation's first spy, uh, was hanged on the 22nd of September, which is the date of my birth. So there was something that attracted me to uh, Nathan Hale and curious about what it means to work in the intelligence uh, world. So when I was at Fordham, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, and I decided to pursue graduate studies. But I, I did see an ad in the New York Times saying that CIA was looking for a good men and women. I went over to New York City, I remember it was Federal Plaza, and sat down with a recruiter. He said, well, if you're going to graduate school, here's an application, and if you decide to uh, pursue a career at CIA, send this application in. And so I decided to uh, apply, and I was uh, very excited when I, I got the phone call that I was uh, accepted into the CIA. I had served overseas. I spent my freshman year of college in the summer over in Indonesia, working on a paper on oil and politics in Indonesia, and, and traveled throughout Java. A junior year, I went over to Cairo and went to school for Arabic as well as just Middle Eastern studies. So the combination of my overseas time as well as my concentration on Middle Eastern studies uh, I think was what attracted the CIA to take a chance and, and hire me. So it was uh, during my formative years as an intelligence officer that I was able to uh, watch history being made. Through the course of my career, I've had the great fortune of being in meetings with some of the, the world's most notable leaders uh, and at critical times of, of world history. And it was a very exciting uh, experience that prepared me well for my uh, last six and a half years or so working at the White House and now it's as CIA director. Mm -hmm. 